we've been looking at how local people are breathing new life into historic buildings in southern Illinois. And tonight, one woman says she has a passion to make her hometown a better place to live. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon introduces us. I was in disrepair and I knew it was basically an eyesore in town and I knew it needed to be saved. Developer Jennifer Spence took her biggest challenge back in 2019 to turn this property and to something more representative of Carterville and Southern Illinois. I have a love for historic preservation. I have a passion for this. You'll find me down here on nights and weekends often. Spence is from Carterville, but up until about a decade ago, she spent 20 years living in Nashville, Tennessee. I would come home and just be sad. After renovating two other properties in the Carterville downtown area, Spence decided her next challenge would be the 4,600 square feet building at 131 South Division Street in downtown Carterville. Originally, I think was Montgomery's place. It's painted on the side of the building and that was a tavern back in the day that had a monkey with a pump organ uh, and a tin cup and would go up to the city well to drive up business according to the first history book. Her drive and passion are on display throughout the building as Spence is responsible for as much of the renovation as possible. There's something satisfying about tearing down a wall and seeing a site that nobody else can see and making it beautiful. To the best of her knowledge, Spence says the building was built in the early 1900s and featured several businesses throughout the years. It's a massive building in, in a lot of ways, but there's three distinct areas and there's a lot of build outs that are ge geared for a food and beverage tenant, um, particularly coffee, if that works out. Spence also admits she wasn't fully aware of the investment it would be to renovate the building. But as she looks at what's been accomplished all these last three years, she has no regrets. When you're doing something like this, it's like eating an elephant one bite at a time. You just navigate that and you focus on the wins. But Spence knows her work is paying off to make Carterville a better place to live and more appealing to visitors. I look back now at the before pictures and just think, wow, look what we did, you know? So that's, that's satisfying and I think the community appreciates it. Reporting in Carterville, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. And if you know of any preservation projects or anyone who's working to restore their hometown, you can email us or Paul at that email on your screen.